Well, hello, everybody. I am back today to talk about a film that was highly anticipated on my list of movies to watch. It was also nominated for Best International Feature at the Academy Awards. And this film was brought to my attention originally by an end-of-the-year list that John Waters made um, as one of his favorite films of the year. And also, the co-host of my podcast, Ray, uh, the Film Monsters podcast that we do together, saw this movie in theaters and gave it a lot of praise. And so I was very excited to see it for that reason. And this film came to the Criterion channel. They got ex exclusive rights for it. And I was very excited to see it. And the movie I'm going to be talking about today is EO. EO is directed by Jersey Skolomowski. The world is a mysterious place when seen through the eyes of an animal. EO, a gray donkey with melancholic eyes, meets good and bad people on his life's path, experiences joy and pain, endures the wheel of fortune, randomly turn his luck into disaster and his despair into unexpected bliss, but not even for a moment does he lose his innocence. So I didn't really know what to expect from this movie. I hadn't seen a trailer. I knew it was a movie centralized around an animal and my friend Ray, who is very much an animal lover like myself, said that this one was incredibly emotionally impactful and that's exactly what it was. It was a very emotionally impactful, beautifully shot movie that was really thought provoking and although I don't think it is a perfect film and I think some moments it gets lost in itself a little bit too much with this idea of following an animal and trying to introduce so many different character arcs and stories that it sometimes doesn't feel like it, it completely works. It still, for the most part, does and is important enough that I think everyone should watch. So as the description says, you're introduced to Eo at the beginning of the film. He uh, works on this carnival circuit where he does this performance with this young woman. The two of them are clearly very close. She has a very intense emotional bond with him and the carnival in the first five minutes of the movie is shut down by these protesters saying the animals aren't being treated correctly and that they need to uh, send them to farms and places that they can actually be taken care of and so the carnival is immediately shut down and EO is put on a, a truck and moved to this farm in the middle of nowhere where he meets this new family and through a different set of circumstances he gets in the hands of different ownership he wanders on his own and so the entire movie is through sort of through the lens of this animal they do a couple of sequences that are shot through his pov but for the most part it's kind of on the outskirts and you're introduced to all of these different people going through different parts of their lives some of them are really good people some of them are really bad people you're also given these really strange surreal sequences through the eyes of eo that kind of are his his thought on the world when he gets lost or where he's at in his own head and it's really a beautiful movie in that regard at kind of looking at the the experience of just being alive on this planet through an animal who animals for all we know they're they're uh, some of them are incredibly intelligent some animals you know we don't really give them the amount of credit that they deserve for how intelligent that they are and you're looking at this donkey who was living this life and everything was stripped away from him and now he's trying to figure out things on his own and it's uh it's incredibly heartbreaking to watch because the donkey is so cute and that's really what makes it so tough but also some of the stories in it are just really tough to watch and obviously this says something about the way we as a society treat animals especially near the third act which which is really thought-provoking in and of itself and this is clearly made by someone who has a passion for animals and one of the things that really adds to this film is the breathtaking cinematography some of the best i saw all of last year the use of color in this film is absolutely amazing. That was my favorite element of the entire movie is just all of the colors that are thrown in your face and the beautiful landscape shots that are just absolutely amazing. The camera moves so strangely in this film, but I say that in the highest regard possible. It's so dreamlike and strange and beautiful. And I'm really glad that I got a chance to watch this movie. And I think it's cool that Criterion was the first company to get a hold of it for the exclusive streaming rights. And yeah, uh, l like I said, it's one of those movies that just needs to be experienced. Trying to talk through each individual vignette would be silly. It's more fun to just 
experience it and watch it firsthand. And I think you'll get a lot out of this one. Like I said, I don't think it's perfect for an hour and a half film. Some of the stories I don't think are as impactful as others, but I do think this is a really unique vision that was executed really well, and it's 100% worth your time to watch. So have you seen EO? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was beautiful and poignant. I thought the cinematography was incredible. It's a really thought-provoking film on the way society treats animals, and I think it's definitely worth your time. As always, if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.